Hey guys, welcome back. Bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, 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 ba -dum, bum, 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 Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you're new. My name is Sarah. I'm so glad you're here today because today is my next gift guide video in my Christmas gift guide series and that is what's in my kids stockings slash stocking stuffer gift ideas for kiddos, tweens, the little is in your life. I have lots of different ideas. If you've never seen me before, I have two daughters. My oldest is Olive and she just turned nine in November and my youngest is Eleanor and she will be seven in March. So I have a wide variety of ideas for stocking stuffers, a lot of things that are easily accessible to pick up or order um, in plenty of time for Christmas. But there are some things that took a while to get to me that I ordered during Black Friday. Um, and so maybe you're watching this at a later date or, you know, we have a little bit longer of time to get stuff to you before the holidays. Everything will link, be linked below, but I will also try to put like similar items um, linked. So in case certain things would take longer and won't be arrived in time for Christmas, I can find kind of dupes or similar items that would, um, at least for this Christmas season. And a lot of these items are just like really good, like a category of things that would be really, really good and easy to find in stores and are just really good ideas for stocking stuffers. These are generally things that I try to pick up every single year, um, at least in the same like categories and subjects because they're things that my girls enjoy, they're easy to find, and they're fun to buy. So I'm going to share those with you as well as my girls both shop for each other. Um, they started doing that a couple years ago and they go shopping separately to find a gift for their sister and I want to share with you what they picked out for each other. I'm wearing my Have a Merry Swift Miss sweatshirt super super festive my brother gave this to me and i love it so and i have my little santa hat on and i'm feeling all the festiveness so we're just gonna dive right in all right so we started with eleanor last time so i'm gonna switch it and start with olive um like i said olive is nine and um i don't give my girls a ton of like candies and treats and stuff in their stockings because we have treats a lot um, here we just have, you know, they have treats, they enjoy living life, and they still have a giant thing of Halloween candy, um, so I don't feel like they needed a bunch of sweets and treats, but I did get a couple of things because it's Christmas. Um, I got all of a pack of Airheads. Uh, this comes in six bars. It was like under a dollar. She loves Airheads. Um, I got her two things of snack-sized chips because Ollie likes certain types of candies and sweets but she is much more a savory salty person um and she discovered talkies last year actually i discovered talkies a couple years ago and then i got her into them um and she's starting to develop more of a palate for spicy food which makes me so excited because i love spicy food my husband likes spicy food so it's been fun to share that with her um and she really likes talkies so she has to take them really slow because obviously they can upset your digestive system slash they're really hot and one time she ate too many and gave herself a um, caper sore. So um, we have to like slow the roll a little bit. So this will last for a couple of snacks, um, but I'm she's, she's going to be pumped. She loves Takis. But I also got her a bag of Flamin' Hot Cheetos because she hasn't been down the Flamin' Hot Cheeto train. Takis are way different in taste. I think she really likes the acidity and the like lemony flavor, a uh, li limon flavor of the Takis. So we'll see if she likes Flamin' Hot Cheetos because it doesn't have that flavor. Um, I know that they have like a lime one, so I should have bought that, but whatever. We're gonna try Flamin' Hot Cheetos and see if she enjoys it, because she likes regular Cheetos. I went too, went too, way too long into Cheetos and chips, but. Anyway, my kids are bougie. They both really love the Lint Lindor uh, truffles. My mom introduced these to them and these are their favorite. They love feeling bougie and fancy. Um, they prefer the assorted bag with the milk chocolate, the dark chocolate, and the white chocolate. They're their favorites. Target was having like a 20, 25% off uh, Lint Lindor candy coupon. So I bought her a bag of these. And then that's all for sweet treats. So now we're going to move on to beauty items. And I just want to quickly clarify that every time I show makeup in any of my gift guides, I always get comments where people get like real angry about the fact that I buy my children makeup. And I just want to clarify that this is a decision my husband and I make. 
they wear makeup like I wear makeup as far as like to express ourselves, to enjoy putting it on, an artistic expression. It is not to conceal their beauty or for me try to make them look older or mature them or not let them be kids anymore. That's crazy and ridiculous. They don't have concealer or mascara or foundation. It's literally just eyeshadow and glitter and sparkles. Like it's nothing dramatic. It's just something fun for them to experiment with. I will continue to do it because it makes them happy and I love seeing them get into it and enjoy it for themselves. Um, but yeah, let me just clarify because some people get like real upset about me getting my kids makeup. You don't have to do it for your children, but it's fine. It's my decision, okay? <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, I did get Ollie a couple of makeup items. I got her three different lip products from Wet n Wild. They're inexpensive. Wet n Wild is a great brand. They're fun. They're perfect for kids, I feel like. Um, she wanted some neutral lippies. Um, and so I got her two just, and they ended up being the same color. They didn't look like that online, but it is what it is. One, I think this is like a high shine one, the mega shine. I love this line. Um, this is like $2 and it's in the color Mad for Mauve. It's actually really pretty. I, I kind of want it. And then I got this one. This was like 98 cents, but it says, will you be with me? And I think it's another, just like a shine lipstick. Um, and then this was supposed to be like a pretty glittery, like luminescent um, topper, but they sent the wrong one. So it's okay though, because this kind of matches with her eyeshadow color story, but it's a mega slicks lip gloss in the color uh, buried treasure, but it's kind of this really pretty like violety purple color. And then I went on to ColourPop because they were having a really great sale. They have sales all the time, but they were offering these little palettes for $9. And I feel like these are such good eyeshadow palettes. I feel like ColourPop is an awesome brand for tweens, teens, young adults, adults, just people getting into makeup and that are looking for an awesome brand that make great quality products, but also are inexpensive. So this was $9. It's the Anna Trance palette. I bought one for myself, for Eleanor and for Molly, because it's so pretty. Um, it's just such a beautiful color story. I love the glitters. I don't have one like this. The girls don't have one like this. I just thought it would just, just looks like frosting and just like a, like a brat's Christmas like you're going like you know like the Bratz themed dolls like just makes me think of like or like my my not my space what my scene dolls oh my gosh I don't know it just gives me like early 2000s like ski lodge vibes or something I don't know I just think it's so pretty so I got her this um, and I think it fits her personality perfectly I think she's going to love it so um, I got her that palette and then I also picked her up a um, little glittery like topper. It's like a glitter gel. It's in the color Moonlight Legend. It's called Glitterly Obsessed Body and Face Glitter. And it's actually Sailor Moon themed. Um, somebody, one of you guys had asked if we got the girls into Sailor Moon yet because you thought that especially Ollie would really like them. I've tried. I've tried showing them. It's for whatever reason, she's just like, eh. It's hilarious because I feel like it's totally up her alley, but I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, it's just this really pretty um, sparkly, if my camera would focus, but it doesn't want to. It wants to hide my face. Anyway, it's just a really pretty glitter gel that she can use on her face um, and definitely up her alley. I think it smells good too. Anyway, um, I just have to make sure she seals it so it doesn't dry out. Next, I picked up this uh, moisturizing hand cream from the cream shop. Um, this was from Walmart in their stocking stuffer section. Both of my kids have been asking for this, but I was like, I'm not gonna buy you hand cream. Like, I don't, you don't need hand cream. But Eleanor is a germaphobe and she washes her hands all the time and um, she's getting like really dry, like little, you know, patches and stuff. Um, on her little hands and we've been using like aquaphor and stuff at night but during the day when she's at school um, I thought it'd be nice for her to have hand cream so I bought her one but then I knew if I bought her one Ollie would be upset so I went and bought Ollie one <laughs> a separate trip so I got Ollie the um, her favorite which is my melody and it's in the watermelon scent they've been wanting to try the cream shop um, Sanrio line for a while now they came out with a whole line um, and they've been dying to try it so I was excited to find one They'll be excited. It's hand cream. Anyway, um, then I found this at Walmart as well. I didn't know they made this, but this is the Squishmallows lip gloss set. And apparently they're squishies, but they're little lip gloss inside. I don't know if I'm gonna give both of these to Ollie or if I'm going to separate them and give the cat to Ollie and the cow to Eleanor. We will see what happens. But they were really, really cute. And for your littles who are super into Squishmallows, like perfect set. So I got this at Walmart. Okay, 
Moving on, we always give them either socks or panties or both. And um, this Christmas, we're giving them two pairs of socks, um, at least Ollie's. So I found these from Walmart and I know that she is going to die when she gets these, um, but they're, she's obsessed with like the little girly socks and like the ones that will fold over. Um, so I found this pack from Walmart and they're all in her favorite colors. Um, and I, she's just gonna freak out. I know she's gonna be so excited for a pair of socks. So um, I thought they were so cute and so up her alley. These were from Wonder Nation. Like I think they're like three dollars or something like that. And then my mom found this set from Target. So it's Rainbow High, and as you guys well know, they love Rainbow High. So a big old pack of all the different main friends of Rainbow High. Super cute. Um, like I said, these were from um, Target, and they both end up sharing socks anyway, but I feel like we just lose socks constantly. It's like they eat them or something. So they got some new socks. I feel like everyone and their mother saw these and I bought these off a TikTok shop. Um, but I thought this looked like so much fun, but these are the Fast Push Interactive Game. I don't know if you guys have seen these. I feel like these were all, probably because I saw them in TikTok shop and then they were constantly recommended to me until I bought one. Anyway, but it's just this like little game. It's a um, pop it. But it see it like is time, so it sees how fast that you can pop it because it each thinks I need to put batteries in. I should probably should have done that to show you. But it'll light up and you press the like one that's lit up and see how fast you can do it. Kind of like the the like gopher or badger game. And then once it you know you beat that or whatever, you press the thing and it repops them. That's the thing I hate about poppets is having to flip it over and repop them through. I love that it repops it for you. So this is just really cute. Um, like I said, I feel like I saw these all over, um, but they were really inexpensive and it's just like a perfect fun stocking stuffer and perfect for the car. It does have sounds, but I do believe you can mute them. And so it, for like car rides, perfect. Reaction times, I love it. Works on um, their fine motor skills. Super cute, so I got this little bunny looking animal thing for Ollie. <laughs> okay, I forgot to add these into the beauty section, but I got each girl a pack of new makeup brushes. I don't think I've gotten them new brushes for a minute, but I saw these and knew that they would love them. So they're all um, Sanrio themed brushes, and I apparently was not smart enough to take them out of the wrapper. That's super loud and crinkly, but um, they're these rose gold handles. This is like a little Hello Kitty one. Um, boop, little brush, super pretty ombre. Then they have all the other different friends. So we have a Karomi, um, a My Melody, a Cinema Roll, and a Karopi. Just little cute brushes. They're so pretty and sweet and they're nice and weighty. They're like really nice and weighty and nice quality. I didn't know how they would come, but I was really happy with them. So um, these are an item that took forever to come to me. So I'm gonna try to see if I can find a similar item that will ship quick, quickly. Um, but I really, these are perfect for stocking stuffers. So that's gonna go in their little bag to refresh their makeup brush uh, set selection, makeup brush collection. Um, I also got this little itty bitty um, cinema roll brush for her just so she can bring this in her backpack. She's terrible about brushing her tangles out. She wants to keep her long hair. And we're, our agreement is you got to brush your hair then regularly because it's a mess. So I got this really cute little cinema roll brush so she can take it along with her to school um, hope, in hopes that she brushes her hair. I also got a set of hair clips. I feel like hair clips are such a good idea for stocking stuffers for not only for kids, but for tweens, for teens, for young adults, for adults, all of the claw clips and all the little barrettes are all in for everyone now. There's such an easy thing to uh, fill into stocking stuffers. I feel like claw clips are just the way to go. So I got these really pretty um, floral kind of iridescent claw clips for Ollie um, for her stocking. And then I also picked her up a pack of these um, like Sanrio character little like alligator style clips. Um, these were really cute. Both of my girls ended up sharing all their clips anyway as well, but I thought these were adorable and I think she's really gonna like them. So I got her a pack of those. And then this was something that was on her Christmas list. She wanted a Karomi little headband. Um, I got one for both of my girls, but I gave all of the 
little pretty lavender purple one because that is one of her favorite colors so just a cute little karomi headband um she loves wearing these and they often wear them for like special events at school okay moving on to accessories so i feel like jewelry is another really awesome stocking stuffer idea again for kids tweens and teens you can find so many cute um jewelry packs and little items that just fill a stocking stuffer easily and um, cost effectively. So I found this really cute um, little My Melody little bracelet. It's really pretty. Um, I love the little beads. Ollie loves um, getting little Sanrio jewelry items. And so I already got her one of these. It was My Melody. It's kind of like a scrunchie, kind of like a bracelet. I honestly don't know what it is, but she loves wearing it. So I did get her a Karomi one and then a cinnamon roll one too. Um, to add to her collection. And then the last jewelry item is this little necklace. Um, I just saw this and thought this was Ollie. It came with this chain that is very much not Ollie, but um, it's a little like anime kawaii style um, little girl and she's holding a cat. And I just, that's if that's not Ollie, I don't know what else is. So it's really cute. I don't know how she's gonna wear this or what she's gonna do with it, but it was not super expensive and I just thought it was so pretty um, and so like Ollie. And then for accessories wise, I picked her up this Karomi keychain. Um, I got one for Eleanor not too long ago and she was dying to have it. Um, there's some fuzz I need to get rid of. Anyway, she was dying to have one and so I immediately went and uh, ordered her one to put in her stocking so I've had this little guy for a while. But just a cute little Karomi keychain for her backpack or purse or wherever she wants to put it. And then I already shared with you guys these um, in their regular gift guide but she asked for a number of them so I did also get another one of those like little beaded bracelet things, um, chain they, I don't even know what these are, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, and this is cinnamon roll. Again, I need to take off the like plastic cover. Here, let me do that. So you can see it a bit better. Looks like that. It's a cute little cinnamon roll one. Again, I don't know where they're putting these because they don't have phones, little phone charms, but it's adorable. And I know she's going to really like it because she asked for it. So um, that is her last little accessory. I did get her a couple of like stationary themed items. I got her this Karomi um, little baggie. As you guys know, I shared in her birthday haul that she got a number of little pouches and for her boo buckets and Eleanor's boo buckets because they love these little pouches. This was from Daiso and it was like a dollar something. It was super inexpensive, but it's really, really cute and she can use, put her stickers or wherever she wants in it. Um, so I got her a little Karomi one and then I also got this Karomi um, eraser but it looks like a little lipstick and i just thought it was so cute so i got her that and then a bunch of stickers as per usual my kids love stickers these are the best things for um stockings again for teens and tweens and if you have kindle lovers in your life or people who love like themed um stickers with fandoms like you can get stickers for everything so i got them both a ton of stickers some anime kawaii style ones and then again um two different sets of sanrio stickers so this was on her christmas list um but they're kind of like holographic um <laughs> Karomi stickers and then she also asked for the cinema roll ones too. So I got both of those um, Super inexpensive off of Timu, but I'm gonna see if I can find the exact same ones on Amazon They just probably won't be as cheap, but they'll be here in time. So um, Stickers always the best idea in my opinion and then I got her a Pin off a of TikTok shop <laughs> I discovered TikTok shop this year, okay? And I mean, I know it came out this year, but it's been a problem. Anyway, all of those gosh darn pins. I don't know if you've seen these things, but they've been all over TikTok. And so I bought them because I couldn't resist and because they had a tailor pin. So I bought her a tailor pin. Um, she's going to freaking love it. And it's so cute. And you just twist it to open it. I don't know. I don't even remember the shop's name, um, but it was cute. And I know she's going to love it. So I got her a little Taylor Swift pin. Um, and then I got her a pack of tattoos. I know this is kind of random, but the girls love, again, like glitter and tattoos and just like fun, like little ways to express themselves. So I found a bunch of these tattoos, thought they were really cute. Again, it's cats. Um, so I got her a pack just to have fun with and she can, 
use them when she wants. Um, and there's even some Hello Kitty. Anyway, super cute. I know she'll be excited. Tattoos are fun. Who doesn't like tattoos? Anyway, so I got her a pack of some kitty tattoos. I feel like they're such a fun thing to give kiddos. Um, especially like the younger kiddos, I feel like really enjoy them and it's a good stocking stuffer that's inexpensive. You can buy a ton of them on Amazon for like nothing. The second to last item I'm sharing with you guys is a little, uh, beanie balls. Um, they used to be called something else and then they changed them. Anyway, um, but as you guys know, my kids love beanie boos. I share them all the time. Um, they've been using these little beanie balls that they have too to pretend that they're in school. So I got this one for Ollie. Super cute. Um, and her name is Topaz. And she's just adorable. So I got this little one for her stocking. And then, um, as you guys know, I got the girls Crocs this year. I'm so excited. And I had to get them Croc charms. This is such a good stocking stuffer. I'm so excited for this idea. <laughs> so I got a bunch of different Croc charms for her. Um, you can get a ton of them on Amazon. And I got just a bunch of like these little cat ones. They're so cute. So she has a pack of cat char Croc charms. I then got her a pack of like Karomi cinnamon and roll Sanrio character croc charms a huge pack and then I got these which I thought were so pretty it comes with two little pearl straps um, and then a bunch of like little um, butterflies and hearts and bows and teddy bears and just like really pretty and girly um, I know that she will love these and I was really excited to get some croc charms for them so we can all be all cropped out and fancy <laughs> that is it for ollie um her sister did pick up this gift for her because ollie's been wanting these i don't know how to say this at af meow at meow me meows mystery plushes i think this is based on like a, a um youtube creator but i'm not positive anyway um she's been wanting these little guys for a while and so eleanor decided to get her the three pack, one's a mystery, and then the other two um, to continue to add to the giant stuffy collection that we don't need. But that was what Eleanor picked up for Ollie. <laughs> okay, now we are moving on to Eleanor. Um, I will start with her treats. Looking at this now, I think I need a, uh, another treat or two. I thought I had more for her than I did for Ollie, but I think now I got more for Ollie than for her. Anyway, I picked up a little tub of the Lint Lindor chocolate truffles for her. Thought I had more for her, so I only got her a small one. So we'll have to figure out how we're gonna divvy everything up. But I got her a pack of those. And then she is obsessed with Dr. Pepper and soda. She try her first one this year and you would have thought that she was tasting the nectar of the gods. So um, it's not something she drinks all the time or anything like that, but just for fun. Anyway, I found this uh, Dr. Pepper Soda Shop um, little jelly bean set from Jelly Belly and I just, she's gonna love it. She'll be so excited. So her, we always pick a new ornament every single year to add to our tree. And this year hers, she picked a um, Coke can. So um, anyway, she is my sweet tooth. I bought her a jar of Nutella. <laughs> she loves Nutella. So these were so cute though. It's Christmas themed. It was like 99 cents. So I bought her a little jar of Nutella because I thought it was so cute. And then um, she loves gummy candy and just like weird things. She's like always wants to try like weird candies. And so um, I found this gummy candy Lunchable set. It has Cracker Stackers buildable gummy candy. Um, she's gonna love this so super cute and i found that i don't know anymore i found this i might have found this at walmart but um i just thought this would be kind of a fun thing to put in her stocking for her to try her candy's a little bit more like unique and fun i guess and then for her makeup i got her that in a trance palette and then i bought her one of their super shock shadows this is in the color ice dream i thought this was so pretty and would look so pretty on her little skin tone but it's this really pretty like opalescent kind of shade it's so so pretty anyway i got her one of those and then a blush so she loves powerpuff girls and as you guys have seen and so um i got her this little powerpuff girl blush it's, it's in the color fighting crime how cute is this it's so cute and has this pretty heart, this really pretty deep kind of pink, which I think will pop so nice on her pretty deep skin tone. 
So that is her little fun color pop goodies. And then I picked again up. Eleanor loves like like unique looking things that are just kind of fun and whimsical. So I picked her up two different like lip kits that I just thought looked really fun. I found this little bunny and it's actually a keychain, but it's a little lip color. It has a doe foot applicator. Kind of like that. Anyway, it's super, super cute. I just thought this was kind of fun. Something different for her, something unique. She will totally like enjoy this type of stuff. Um, like the novelty type of makeup. So I got her that. Color's a little bit deep, but uh, didn't look the same way online, but that's okay. Um, and then I found this. These are a little set of lipsticks, little mini lipsticks, but they're in a little coffee cup. A little faux coffee like to go cup. How cute is this? And then inside, they're all little stars. The cutest thing ever. I thought this was so fun. Oh my gosh, I thought this was so adorable. So I got her these as well. Again, just like such a niche novelty item, but something that I know she'll really appreciate and enjoy. She's also really good with like her items, like collections and stuff. She takes really good care of her stuff. And so um, I know that these won't go to waste because she'll protect them. And then the hand cream I got her, like I said, was the Cinema Roll one, and this is Vanilla Cream. Uh, this is the one that she wanted, so she has him. And then I also got her a set of the makeup brushes, like Ollie, but hers all have like different brightly colored handles of all the different characters. So we have Karopi, um, Pom Pom Purin, Karomi, Cinema Roll, Hello Kitty, and Bathmaru. All super cute. I think like this is such a cute little stocking stuffer. And then along the same line as like beauty items, you guys have seen in the past, but Eleanor is obsessed with fake nails. She loves, or just nails in general. She loves doing her nails. I showed you it for Christmas, she got a little fake nail set. She loves it. Um, so I found all of these nails that are made for kids, but they're all like the really cool nail designs. Cause like I said in my Christmas video, um, she always asks me to do all these cool designs and I can't do them for the life of me. So these have like little gems and stuff on them. I thought these were so cool and they were so inexpensive. I got these all off at Timu. So um, I have this really pretty like pink and checkerboard set of them. Then there's this really pretty ombre purple. I don't know if you can see any of these. There's a blue one. And then this one's hiding, but this has like little hearts and pink ones. Just so cute. And I know that she's going to be so pumped. I also got this set, which has like really pretty flowers all over it. They're the perfect size for her little nail bed. They're so cute. So I know that she's going to be pumped when she sees all the different nails. I'm so excited for those. And then I got her a number of little nail stickers. Um, for the times that we don't do fake nails and she wants to do just like paint her nails. So I got, um, some Sanrio ones. These are really large though. So they may just be like on the, the thumb. Um, but we have, Mar uh, did I say cinnamon roll? I didn't mean that. Pachaco and then my Melody. Um, we'll see how these fit though. Cause they're kind of large. So maybe they can just go on their thumbs. Um, and then I got a pack, like a mega pack of little nail decals. And so they have like... Um, flower, like little floral prints, and if I can get them out, I probably won't be able to get them back in. Like a bunch of like little hearts and little floral prints and polka dots and butterflies and just all little, this, these are small, so these will fit nicely um, on her nails. But these are good too for when we just do easy, quick paint job and she wants some special design. Fake it till you make it, you know? <laughs> and then I got two packs of face gems. I used face gems for them when we went to um, the Eras tour and got all dressed up and she loved them. So I bought two inexpensive little things of face gems that she can use to decorate for special occasions or for fun. So two packs of those. I also got her a pack of tattoos. Um, hers are just like different random like little cartoons. Um, she also does have like some Sanrio ones in here, but like butterflies, just like fun. Again, I feel like tattoos are such a fun thing for little kids to get in their stockings. 
Um, so I got her a pack of those. And then I got her um, a little mini hairbrush for her backpack, but I got her Pachaco. And he's so cute, look at him. He's so cute. And then her headband is the original Karomi headband, the little black one. Moving on to accessories. So I did get her one of the little um, bracelets as well. I got her a little Karomi one. And then I got her a Pum Pum Purin um, really pretty bracelet. Like all I got the My Melody one. Eleanor loves Karomi, but she likes a lot of the other. Ollie does too, but she Eleanor's more willing to like divulge with colors than, <laughs> than Ollie is. Ollie has a strict color palette she sticks to. Um, I've had these for months and months and months and months. I think I got these back in like August or July or something. Um, but there's a little set of Sanrio character nails and they're so cute. And I know that she, or nails, rings. I know that she's going to love them. Uh, she loves putting on her accessories and doing her full outfit. So I got the hair clips for Ollie and then I wanted to make sure that um, they both had like a fun, unique little, each little individual characters. I just think they're so cute. She's going to be so excited. Okay, and then for her keychain, I got a cinema roll one. Um, and it has a little, like a little heart crossbody bag and a little heart hat. I just thought this was so cute. So this is her. She has no more room for keychains on her backpack. I don't know where we're putting them, but that's her, <laughs> hers. Um, for her pack of socks. We found these from Wonder Nation and they're just fun, brightly colored smiley faces and checks and everything that is Ellie. Um, if this, if you want to know her like vibes, this is it. This is it. Just so cute. So a pack of socks for her. Okay. I also got her this little cup. I've had this for a while. This is from Daiso. Ollie got a My Melody one and I've been holding this one for a while for Eleanor. So she'll have like a little water cup. Um, just super cute, really inexpensive at Daiso. And then um, she also asked for some of those Sanrio stickers. So I got her a pack of cinnamon roll, but then I also picked up a number of um, like just really cute, like fun aesthetically, like fun pink ones that have like a milkshake and a sucker and like stuffies. Um, I, there's a bunch in here, just a bunch of pink ones. And then she loves Pusheen. So I got her a whole pack of him or her. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl. And then a cute little case. She's been wanting one of these for so long. And so um, it's like a two little zipper compartment case. She can take it to school with her. She can keep it here. It's a great place for all of her stickers. It's so cute. It's just so happy. Little machine, little, um, little school supply, little kit. She's going to love it. Oh, she's going to be so excited. And then her little beanie boo, beanie balls little guy is this really cute little guy. I think his name is Slush. Yeah, Slush, because he's a little husky. And he has, has a little, like, blushy, rosy cheeks. So cute. So that's going in her stocking. And then I also did get her... Oh, no, this is hers. Okay, so I got her a little lovely pet game, but I got her a little bear. Um, thought it was really cute. So I got her one as well. Um, to press. She will probably love it more than her sister because she really, really enjoys poppets. I also got her a pen, but I got her Barbie. So she loved the Barbie movie. You guys know she got a Barbie doll for Christmas or is getting one. And so I picked her up this um, Barbie pen when I got the Taylor one. Just thought it was really cute and perfect for her. I went a little bonkers on crop charms for her. <laughs> I just kept finding ones that I knew she'd like, so I kept ordering them. So we have so many. Honestly, I feel like we just need to get a bucket and put all the charms in, because I have a bunch of Taylor Swift ones. <laughs> anyway, um, I got her a pack of Barbie ones. These are ones that she asked for and put on her list. So I originally ordered these, but then um, I found, oh, and she also asked for these, which were just like kind of fun pink, like, you know, like the, the emoji icons and things that are like popular right now. Um, but then I found little gummy bears and I was like, those are so cute. I got to get those for her. But then I found Squishmallow ones and I was like, well, she's got to have those too. Those are adorable. Um, and then 
She loves just like treats and like the branding of treats. So like Dunkin', she's never had Dunkin' in her life, but it's like, she thinks it's so cute and so cool. Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, like anyway, I'm sure this is great for commercialism and you know, capitalism, just indoctrinating her, but it's adorable. So I found all of these that have like Dunkin' Donuts and Chick-fil-A and McDonald's and like all these little treats that she's just gonna love. Like this is so up her alley. So I found all of them. Um, she's gonna love them. We now have more Croc charms than we know what to do with. So there's that. Again, a great stocking stuffer. You just don't probably need that many. Okay, last but not least, um, for what her sister is giving to her, um, these are something she asked for, and I lucked out, man, because these things sold out like hotcakes, um, but these are the Mariah Elizabeth Series 1 Mini Mystery Plushes. She's getting two, they're like 10 bucks each. Um, she loves Mariah Elizabeth. She's a creator on YouTube. She watches her videos all the time. She does mostly like art creations, um, but she has created all these little mini characters and Eleanor loves them. She's always asked for her merch and stuff like that, but it's always kind of like t-shirts and stuff they don't ever have in her sizes. And so I randomly stumbled upon these in Walmart one day when Eleanor was with me and she freaked out. I was like, cool, huge end cap, like tons and tons of time. I was like, awesome, I'll order them online. Couldn't find them online. Then I was like, oh, I'll just pick them up in store. Not thinking anything of it. Olive was like, that's what I want to get her. She really wants those. I was like, cool, we'll go pick them up in store. Last two. They sold out so quickly. I just didn't think anything of it. I thought they'd be, I, that was stupid of me. Anyway, these are series one. I think she's gonna be really excited. I hope and pray that I didn't get two of the same ones. I, that's what I hate about surprise things, especially when they're so big or like they're more expensive, but hopefully they, she got two different plushies in here. Um, but this is what Olive is giving to her sister. Oh, also I show these every single year, but these are their stockings. We've had them since they were babies. Um, Target has, keeps them. They've, we've, they've had them for years and years and years, but this is um, their stocking and whatever doesn't fit in here, I just normally have on the side. I don't, I don't freak out. It doesn't have to fit in here, but I know some people really want everything to fit. These absolutely will not all fit. All right, friends, that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry if it was all over the place, but my mind is all over the place because it is the hustle and bustle, like crunch time, end of the season. And um, I'm a little, I'm a little crabbled everywhere, but that's okay. Um, I hope you enjoyed this nonetheless. I will have all the links for you down below and I will try to make sure that for items that maybe not, will not arrive in time or are no longer available or sold out, I will find similar items for you on Amazon. But like I said, these are just really great jumping off points for like categories and subjects for the kids and tweens and young adults and adults in your life, like hair items, like hair clips, some beauty items like lip gloss, stickers, tattoos, croc charms, all these I think are like really accessible and um, are easy to be able to kind of find or get within enough time for Christmas and that are just great stocking stuffers that I feel like generally most people will enjoy. So I hope that I gave you some ideas. Um, don't forget to keep an eye out because my husband's gift guide is coming up next as well. In that same video, I will include his stocking stuffer ideas. I know a lot of you also just don't know what to feel with your spouse's stocking, so I will have those for you. I'm sorry it's taken for so long. It's just, I feel like this year, everything, the mail was the slowest it's ever been. Um, but I, that's coming your way as well as the last minute gift guide for your teachers and people in your life, uh, friends, family, where you're like, can they give a gift or I need it right away? It'll just be easy and quick. Um, that's coming your way as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season with whatever holiday or time of year or traditions that you celebrate or participate in. I hope that you found some time to slow down, enjoy the pretty glistening lights, and um, just have some peace And at a time that's normally pretty crazy and chaotic and stressful. Um, I will see you guys all very soon. Bye guys.